Good morning, everyone. How are you guys doing today? So, I am back in my garage. Um, it's Saturday, and you guys, I'm just going to keep working on this garage until I get it done. I wanted to go thrift store shopping and look for things for my classroom, but you know what? I probably have it down here in this garage, so I've, I better just clean, you know, and I'm running out of space to put the, all my stuff that I want to keep. But as I'm going through things, I am trying to downsize. I'm trying to get rid of a bunch of things I don't want. I thought I would start with laundry today and um, just kind of bring you along. I am going to turn on my music, so I'm going to have to um, not talk to you guys unless I turn the music off. Um, I do not want to get a copy, copyright strike. And um, so um, I just pulled this leaf out of my washing machine. So, um, I think I'm going to start with laundry, like I said, and um, get this pile down again. Um, of course, it's been a week since I've done the laundry again. So, um, you know, it's all piled back up again. And so, I thought, well, might as well do laundry while I'm down here. It will also warm it up a little bit for me to do this laundry. And um, so, let's go ahead and get that going. I'm going to grab my jacket because I am a little cold. I do have a space heater, so I need to find a plug-in. cannot plug it in here. I cannot plug it in where my freezer and my radio are plugged in. Um, I don't know if I'll be able to turn on my heater down here. So I know as soon as I start moving around, it won't be so hot. So um, let's get started. Okay, I am on my couch, which has a mattress on it, and this other mattress is right here with the box springs. I can't lift it with my broken arm. So I climbed up on here, and I wanna to try to clean this area out right here because this is where I'm gonna put my living room area. So a lot of this stuff, um, if I can get this area cleaned out, is gonna come over here. Um, I'm hoping to have a place for everything, everything have a place. That's my goal. So. Um, I thought I would pick up the trash, put all the trash in a trash bag, and just start going at it here. Um, see if I can keep what I need to keep and get rid of what I need to get rid of. And um, like here's an old schedule from my old job. I don't need that. Trash, 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 trash. So see, four things of trash right now. Um, and then plated football. Don't know if the boys are gonna wanna keep this football. So I do have a pump. So I will throw it over there in that other pile of stuff to go through. And um, I think that's what I wanna do. Just try and move everything over and then put it back. Hope you guys enjoy this video. It's gonna be a long one. I am on my couch finally and uh, there's the couch legs in a bag bunch of clothes some cars um, you take these cars to the daycare so put them down there uh, oh I found found this book you guys Walter the farting dog I gotta take this one to the daycare. It was my son's book, and guys, gonna throw away the cover, but definitely this is a win for the daycare. Hey, you guys! I finally got my couch all covered up, and I started going through some of the things that I brought from my house, and I've got a pile of trash just right here that I need to throw away. Um, but I'm trying to bury myself 
um, into my garage because um, I won't be able to get out unless I clean it. <laughs> so um, I got my pile of trash and um, you guys, this is so therapeutic for me. As I'm going through this stuff, you guys, it is reminding me of my marriage, everything in my, my marriage. Um, there's some things that were my husband's that I found that um, I gave to him as Christmas gifts, um, honestly. And I'm just being so grateful that I have this stuff. Um, there's a lot of it I don't want. And so I'm starting over from scratch. And my, um, it's almost been one year since my divorce. And so as I'm going through this stuff, you guys, it's just so great. Um, just to be so happy with what I, I, I do have. Um, you know what? We were talking about going to the thrift store um, and getting things. And one of the things I was going to get was a battery a container. But lucky here, I got one. So I need to collect all my batteries and put it in there and um, get organized for 2023. So I'm super excited to be able to find these things and be able to say, you know what? This is a disaster back here. I'm just going to go through it, keep what I want to keep get rid of the rest and um, I'm really happy about this whole um, decluttering uh, finally getting my stuff out of my house um, after my divorce you know my husband kept it for so long and um, the core system was taking forever for me to get my stuff and um, you know it's not right uh, that I didn't have my stuff and I was kicked out of my house with my kids but it's been a very big blessing for me um, I got everything new, so I don't need half of this stuff. A lot of it is my reselling business, and so as I'm going through it, um, you know, most of it I'm going to throw away um, or give to the thrift store. A lot of my stuff has been ruined by mice um, and by um, just been thrown around in the garage here and in my shed at the house and my she shed office that I had that my husband sold. Um, and, uh, you know, these are things that, you know, it's just material things. And one thing that I learned from my divorce, thank you, Jesus, is that none of this stuff matters. It is clutter. It's messing up my life. I'm going to get organized just like I was before I met my husband. I'm no longer depressed. I'm very happy. So I just need to take the time, get this part done out of my life. And then I'm going to make some videos on... Um, apartment makeovers and um, just getting my life together and I'm so happy and uh, oh thank you Jesus I am so thankful for my divorce um, and just being able to be free from the evilness that um, I was in in my marriage and so um, you know it's it's great to be free of the clutter and the feeling of just depression and so as I'm going through this, I'm letting go, I'm letting God, and I'm just very, very happy. Baby, do you see my stuff? My cat's coming around and she's snooping through and she's looking through everything. She probably smells my dog that I used to have. I used to have a German Shepherd. And so as we're going through this stuff together, baby, come here, come here. As we're going through um, this stuff together, me and my cat, then, um, you know, hopefully we will uh, be able to, you know, just remember the good times that we did have as um, a family. And uh, starting over is kind of fun, guys. I'm not going to lie. Baby, what do you smell? You want to say hi, YouTube? Say hi. Hi, baby. So, um, very happy with what's going on and very excited. And my cat's having a great time. But look at this stuff all around me, guys. There's um, my pots. I have uh, found a coffee maker that is a professional coffee maker I need to put with my party stuff. Um, I used to throw parties all the time, uh, family gatherings. Um, used to make big old things of um, big beans in here. And um, so, you know, all this stuff for my marriage is kind of fun. It's kind of like Christmas morning for me to be able to get my stuff and go through it a year later and 
um, you know, I got hot real fast. I had my jacket on for about two minutes, <laughs> started moving things around and I was like, okay, I got my momentum going. I'm not stopping now. got the laundry going. Um, however, I got everything off the couch and I put it where the laundry is. I can't get to my washer and dryer right now. So I got to keep cleaning this area, clean that area just to do another load of laundry today. So I got to get moving, stop making videos, but I will check in with you throughout the day and, uh, just kind of share my progress with you. So thanks for watching. Wow, guys, look at what I've done. I made space. I could actually get on the floor and walk around a little bit back here. And um, I found my chairs. And this box here is thrift store stuff. And my couch is now covered again. And I can't move that bed. Woo wee. <laughs> okay, you guys, um, it has been an hour and a half. Look how red my face is. Um, I think I got four bags of trash and uh, they're the big kitchen trash bags. Um, one box of thrift store. And I'm stacking things up in the corner of my garage a little bit better. Um, had to take a bathroom break. And um, I'm out of energy. <laughs> um, an hour and a half. You guys saw me lifting up my beds. I moved them onto my chairs that I had there, but I found my couch, I found my two chairs, and a bookshelf. <laughs> so I'm very happy with the results of this hour and a half that I've been working. Um, and four bags of trash, really, guys? I mean, I'm going through this stuff, and I'm like, I don't even want this, and it's ruined by mouse droppings and um, who knows what else. I mean, just trash. I didn't realize how much trash I had. Now, my husband did go through everything. Um, and so, I don't know um, what I actually have um, that he gave me. So, as I'm going through everything, I'm finding things that he was like, oh, I she gave me these for Christmas, so I guess I'm giving it to her. Or maybe he didn't even know they were in a box that were in the garage and I got them. So whatever, um, I'm sure he, he kept things that were mine. And I know he did, as a matter of fact, because I've asked for that stuff back and he hasn't given it to me. Um, uh, he's kept things that I bought, uh, even during our separation, um, but when I was in the basement and he was upstairs and um, he, I had bought a new fridge and he kept it. And um, it was a fridge that I bought with my own working money. Um, and I just can't believe that he um, would be so hateful towards me to keep some of my stuff. Um, you know, he's kept my she shed. He sold it um, to get the money from it. He um, probably sold it with the desk in it that was mine that I purchased from Ikea. And uh, there was other things in there. Um, I have um, pictures of what was left. And so I know all the things that he's kept and, you know, it's just sad to me to think that that's just the way it is. But with that said, you know, it is what it is. And I'm going to move on going through this stuff. I am happy to find my casserole dish that I've been looking for and my um brand new uh my coffee maker uh that's for my parties and my um a couple other things that i had that i would um need for my kitchen and so i'm happy to find those items uh the two chairs the couch i got after I moved into this apartment, um, so those were mine. Um, they were not from my house. And um, I'm gonna keep those downstairs in the garage. Um, I'm gonna try to make a living area. Um, I have a rug right here in my living room. I have a duplicate rug in my kitchen. And I think I'm gonna take it out of my kitchen and take it down there and roll it out. 
um, when I get to the decorating side. But I still have the whole middle part of the garage now I still have to go through. Um, that bed, uh, the baker's rack that's in my garage that you'll see later, and maybe even a dresser. I don't know if I could fit that in there. Um, those things are going to my camper. Uh, I don't have a truck to get that stuff to my camper, so I have to do one load at a time. So I do plan on taking those in my car uh, this summer to my camper. I'm going to plan on um, remodeling my camper inside this summer. So it is on my to-do list. I am gonna have help <clears throat> from uh, friends. And so um, there will be a lot of projects going on on my property. Um, and I'll be able to take you guys along with all that organization and all that. But, you know, here at my apartment, uh, going through my stuff for my divorce, it is so <laughs> healing for me, you guys. Um, the memories are just whew, popping up in my head. And uh, a lot of it's not good memories. And I forget until I see an item. And then I'm like, hey, you know what? We had this argument over this. or. Or I remember this or when he gave me this and this wasn't a good thing you know and so you know it's it's great for me to be able to go through this stuff and I don't know why but I'm talking to you guys and my nose is clogging up right now my eyes are watering so I guess I need to blow my nose um and uh I look like a mess uh I just feel like I'm out of breath a little bit um I do um want to say, you know, when I went to the doctor back uh, about a year ago, doctor says I have a bad heart, so I'm not getting enough oxygen in my heart. So when I am especially at home by myself and I'm doing something strenuous for me with my broken arm and everything, um, as it's healing, uh, and if I do too much and I do um, too much lifting or I hurt myself in any kind of way, you know, or I get out of breath or my face turns red, I need to stop and I need to calm down, um, sit, come back upstairs, watch a couple of shows on TV and cool off a little bit because I do have that bad heart. I'm not getting that oxygen to my heart. So um, I am assuming it's the weight gain that I've had, but as I'm losing the weight, I'm getting the energy. And so I just need to be very careful with how much energy I'm um, using up as I am doing my projects around, um, you know, my property out, out a couple hours away and my home, and especially when I'm by myself. So I um, wanted to let you guys know that project um, garage cleanup is still ongoing. Um, I am running out of room. My whole entryway is completely full of stuff. I have called for reinforcements to come and get the stuff. So um, once that load is taken to the thrift store, I can start over again. Um, my trash can is overflowing. So I don't want to say I'm done because I can't even get to my laundry still. So I need to go back down there and uh, at least make room to get to my laundry. But um, I really would like to keep working on this today. It's only been an hour and a half. So I'm just probably doing too much to, and I need to slow it down. Uh, four bags of trash <laughs> you guys four bags <laughs> uh i need to get more rid of more and so um but i don't know what to do with all this trash uh a uh, single mom life is so hard you guys um i am enjoying my weekend to myself so i can get this stuff done but man it would be nice if i had some help um especially with the lifting the stuff like the bed frame I can't hardly lift it uh, or I wish I had my four bedroom house still with my finished basement and you know I don't know if you guys saw me but in my video I had a, a table behind me I have a kitchen table already but I have another kitchen table down there and so um, you know it, it may be something I use down there or I may keep it because um, as I'm adding to my property down um, where I have my camper, I'm going to be needing some of these things um, to be putting into um, as I'm expanding down there. So um, 
you know, I, I kind of feel like maybe I should keep some of this stuff, uh, especially that furniture. Um, once I move it out of my garage, I can move it down to my property. And so I, that's what I'm really trying to do is try to use up what I got. Did you guys see that wallpaper? Oh my gosh, I couldn't believe it. I, I forgot I bought that. Um, that is one of those things. It's been two years, you guys, that I've not had gone through this stuff. So two years of um, my retail business being shut down. Two years of uh, not knowing if I'm ever going to get my stuff out of my home. Two years of all this stuff, you guys. Um, divorce has taken forever. And so, you know, it's been a year. It has. But I didn't, I don't know what's happened to the time this last summer. It went by so fast and I was so busy um, getting the property prepped to get some of the stuff out to the property already that um, <laughs> I have not concentrated on my apartment as much. I mean, all the bedrooms are done, all the living room, kitchen, all that in my apartment has been done this last year. And um, I keep thinking, what did I do over the summer? But it was property. I was down at the property all the time and I was working um, the land just um, putting gravel down and and weed eating the yard um, and I had electricity put in and cable put in down there and all these things um, that just took my time up. I, rem I did do some remodeling in my camper um, a couple weekends last summer but um, I need to get back down there um, and get some more done and I have the stuff here at my apartment so I am working on um, just doing that as a single mom um, when I have my weekends to myself with no children uh, I do plan on um, doing things for me that is taking care of my home myself my health being with friends and um, just spending the weekends to myself uh, if I have to go to my property, I'll go to my property on the weekends to my, with myself. Um, you know, it's the life that I live, the day in the life. So, um, you know, this project of cleaning out my garage is going to be multiple videos. And I want to bring you guys along with me. So I'm going to end this as part, I think I'm on part three now. Um, don't count me on that. But if... Um, you know, as I'm doing more, I'm going to bring you guys along. So I'm going to go ahead, add this as a closure for this video. And, um, I will start videoing as soon as I get back downstairs. Bye.